All of IDVille's ID Maker ID systems include our exclusive ID Maker 3.0 software. This proprietary software is best in class and allows you to easily design professional, high quality IDs with your photos and logos. So let's dive in and I'll take you through a demo. This is the, the home screen that you come to when you open up the software. So where you can open a recent ID project if you already have a project going. Uh, you can write some reports, order some supplies that'll take you to our website, or you can take a tour of the software to see how it works. Uh, but today we're gonna go ahead and start a new ID project. The next screen that comes up allows you to choose the orientation of your ID card, uh, as well as choosing if you want it single-sided or dual-sided. If you notice, you can change the orientation for the front and the back. So for today's purposes for this demo, let's go ahead and let's do a dual-sided ID card, and let's have both the front and the back be landscape. Uh, you could also see here if you were to do the mag stripe where you'd want to program the black stripe of the back of the card, you would choose that here. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, you can actually choose a template to build your project off of, but today we're going to start a blank project. The next screen that comes up is the fields that you want on your ID card. So today uh, we'll do which is usually most popular. We're going to go ahead and add first name, we're going to add last name, and then we're going to add title. So you'll see we have an abundance of fields here for you to choose from. And then we're also going to choose picture because we want to have our photo on the ID card. And we'll go ahead and click OK. If one of the fields you see it, or you're looking for in here is not in there, you can always create a custom field that is more specific to what you're looking to do uh, with your ID badge. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And this is where you can create a new database or you can import a database. So if you already have all your employees in an Excel file, you actually can import that database at the same time as you create the ID card. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and just create a new database. And then you're in our software. So this is the, uh, the main page that you work out of when you design your ID card. So if you look up at the top, this is a tab-driven software. The template design tab is what we're in now. This is where you can design your ID. As you can see, I can drag and drop the photos. I can, I can resize the photo, um, put first name, last name, wherever we want. It's total, you have total control of the ID card design. The other tab is the data entry tab. And this is where you're gonna type in the individual's information that you're making an ID for and take their picture. Uh, the last tab we have here is our resource tab. And this is where uh, you can you know, go through some tutorials of how to use the software. Again, you can watch some videos, order supplies, check out our Facebook page and whatnot. On the left-hand side here, if you were to be hooked up to a printer, it'll show how many prints you have left in your ribbon, how many prints it's made, just more kind of up-to-date information about the system. So let's go back to the template design tab and let's design our ID card. Typically, first name is in front of last name. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna delete last name, I'm gonna delete title, and I'm gonna add them all as one field or in one box. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna hit my space bar and I'm gonna go up under this text and I'm gonna insert the database field, last name. This will automatically mean first name will be one space in front of last name. I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna hit insert text, database field, and then I'm gonna do title. This will automatically put title directly under first name and last name. And then this is just like Microsoft Word where if you want to center align things, you can do that. Uh, if you want to change the, the font size, simply select the text and then select the drop down to change the font size. Change that size and stretch the box out. And there you go. So same thing with your picture. You can, you can make it larger or smaller. And I always like to put a black box around the outside of my picture box. So there, we've got kind of the, the setup of what we want for the name of the person, their title, and their picture. 
Now let's go ahead and let's insert a logo. Now if you see over here on the left hand side, we do have some decorative clip art. So if you don't actually have a logo at your location, you can kind of cycle through and maybe if one you know looks good to you, you can simply just double click on it and it'll add it to the ID card, which you're then able to drag and drop and put wherever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna insert my logo. So you can choose from the clip art library or you can choose from file. This means you basically search your computer for the logo that you wanna use. So here's my IDville logo that I'm gonna add and you can actually add it to the library that you, you see here on the left hand side. So I'm gonna click yes and then it's gonna pull in my logo. So here we are, this is our IDville logo and you're able again to size it so it's the size that you want uh, and you're able to drag and drop it and put it wherever you want it to put. Now the back of the card, we wanna go ahead and if you wanna to go to the back, just click on this back tab up here and that'll take you to the back side of the card. Now the back side of the ID card, I wanna do a full background. So if I go over here to the left and click backgrounds, all I have to do, or again, we do have some preloaded designs you see here that you can cycle through and choose. Um, or you can hit edit and browse and you can pull in any artwork and it'll stretch it to be the entire back side of the ID card. You're also able to make it a little transparent if you want to. Uh, but for today's purposes, we're just gonna make it the entire back of the ID card. And then again, ask you if you wanna add it to the library. I'll say no just for this time. So there, I was able to insert a background that is now the entire back of the ID card. All right, so we have the front side designed, we have the back side designed. Now let's go ahead and let's, let's enter some individuals into our database. So you click the database entry tab and we see here it has the design we set up, but it doesn't have anybody's first or last name because we have to enter that here in the data entry tab. So let's go ahead and let's make an ID for myself. So I'm gonna type in my first name, David, my last name, Ditmar, and let's say I'm in customer service. You can see as I type it in, it puts it on the ID card so you get a preview of what it looks like. So once I have all my information set forth of what I want on the ID card, the person's name and whatnot, now you have the ability to use the camera that came with the system to capture the individual's pictures or you can use any picture that you have on file. So I have a camera hooked up to the, my computer. All you have to do is hit capture. It then pulls up a live uh, shot from the camera that's here on the table. You then hit capture photo, took a quick picture of me, click OK, and it drops it into the software. The great thing about the camera that comes with this system is it allows you to streamline that whole process of bringing in a picture into the software. You can use the camera that comes with this system or again, you can browse your computer and pull in any picture that you have. So here's a picture of my business card. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select that and then I'm gonna crop down that image to just my headshot. And I'm gonna click okay. And you can see it pulls in my photo into the database portion of our software. So you can either use the pictures you have on file or you can use the pictures that you take from the camera. So that's pretty much how the software works as far as designing the ID card uh, and then typing in the person's information and taking their picture. Uh, the great thing about the software is that once you create an ID card for an individual, they're always going to be here in this database. So let's say I come in tomorrow, I've lost my ID card. When you open up the software, you'll see here on the left-hand side, you have my record here. So all you do is click on my record, all of my information appears again, and you're then able to print that ID card uh, and then move on to the next person. So let's say you want to add a database field more specific to your location. So if I click add remove fields over here, you can see these are all the fields that we have on my ID card. Let's say we want to add one for entry point. All right, so we'll go up here and we'll click the, the orb. We'll click tools, preferences, and this is where we'll create a new uh, field, entry point. 
and click add. That'll add this into the fields that you can use on the ID card. So now we're gonna go back to the add remove fields. We're gonna scroll down and there's entry point. We'll click add and now you'll see that it's an actual database field that you can use here to, to type about the person. So let's say I only come in the west entrance. So you can have information about the individuals on their record that I come in the west entrance, but it doesn't actually have to display on the ID card. Our software is uh, filled with these different options, uh, different capabilities that you can choose. Uh, let's say you wanted to do a barcode on your ID card. Well, you can do that. Go to your template design tab and go ahead and click on encoding and let's add a barcode. Now barcodes are typically used for lunch programs, time and attendance systems. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put a barcode on the ID card and we're gonna tie it to the person's last name so that when we print an ID card, it'll have a barcode on there that is representing the person's last name. So let's go ahead and stretch this out, make it the bottom of the ID card. Another feature is you can always align your logos or text so that it's in the direct center of the ID card. So up here at the top, if you hit align, if you hit horizontal center, it'll always put the item in the center of the card. And then when you go back to your data entry tab, you'll see now that I have my picture, my information, information about me that I come in the west entrance that's not on the card, uh, and then a barcode that's tied to my last name that you could use for your time and attendance system. Thank you for letting me take you through this demo. For your own personal demo with your logos and artwork, feel free to give us a call and visit us at ideville.com.